Welcome to another video by the Viral Workaholic. And yes, the Viral Workaholic is a grandfather. And it's a very special day today because we are building a birdhouse with the grandchildren. Some of my fondest memories, greatest skills, and overall work ethic comes from hours I've spent with my grandfather or my father building projects. So now you see, Workaholic is not a condition, it's a tradition. First time behind the power tools. I take this part very seriously. Show her how to use a tool. Show her how to keep her hands out of the way. And how to be safe while she's doing it. I show her how to line the blade up with the pencil mark. And to push the board back tight up against the fence. Meanwhile I'm holding the board. So that I can maintain full control. A quick wave to the viewers. We get our board positioned and we line up our blade on the outside of our pencil mark so that we get the full distance that we're looking for. With our left hand we hold our board tightly up against the fence before we start cutting. You always let the blade come to a complete stop before you let it up off of the wood when you're finished cutting. Now that we have the front and back panels of our birdhouse we can start laying out where we need to make our cut for our flooring. Our front panel is one foot, 12 inches. So in order to get our side panels on, we will need to make the board 15 inches because it's an inch and a half thickness of the boards that we're using for each end. This is not a typical viral workaholic video, but it's definitely one that I will cherish and I hope the children will cherish as well. So smash that like button and let us know that you love it. I explained to the children how we use our speed square to keep our lines straight for the flooring for the birdhouse. Hit that subscribe button and you'll help us produce videos that are informative and entertaining. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This birdhouse is starting to come together. We have the back, we have the front, we have the floor. Now all we need to do is design the side panels. The side panels has to be the full length of the floorboards. So we're going to use the same size 2x10 for the side panel. It has to be the same height as the front wall and the back wall before we start putting on our gabled end. Once again, we'll be using our speed square to get the dimensions that we need for both the side and as well as the pitch of the roof for the gable end. I'm taking this time to explain to the children the importance of learning math in school. We have to find the center of the side walls in order for our roof line to be straight. Using the outside of our front wall and the outside of our back wall, we can determine using the speed square again, the pitch or the rake of the roof. Now that we've done the math and figured out our dimensions, we can begin to cut. You have to go past the stop line because your blade is round and if you don't it won't cut all the way through the board. Now we have our first sidewall. In order to keep things looking authentic we don't want too high of a pitch nor do we want a flat type of roof. We want to keep it just about normal what a normal house would look like. Now that we have our first piece and it looks good we can use it as a pattern piece for the other side that'll save us of going through all the trouble of measuring and then everything will be exactly the same. Just simply overlay it on the board that you intend to cut, draw your lines, mark it out and you're ready to go. The children decided that we needed a front porch perch. Say that five times fast. Perch, porch, porch, perch. Never mind. So I found some dowel rod and some metal and we're going to make a porch perch. 
I found a small piece of aluminum scrap metal laying around that shed and I'm going to cut it into one and a half inch strips. I can then attach these strips to the floor of the birdhouse on the side, on the outside, and then attach the dowel rod in between the two pieces of metal. This will give the birds a nice place to land before they go in their front door. This will be our next step in the project, the front door for the birdhouse. I'll give the children a selection of hole saws and let them choose how big a hole they want for the birds to go in and out. Three inch, looks like a perfect size to me, especially if you're a pretty good sized bird. All right, here comes that crazy math thing again. We need to find the center of the front of the birdhouse so that we can find out where we want to put our birdhouse door. Now that we found the middle of our board, X marks the spot. Now we're ready to drill. We'll place a small drill bit on the inside of our hole saw right directly over the X where we're going to drill. Now that we're all centered up, we can start drilling. First time running the drill. He's pretty excited about it. He's doing a pretty good job. Keep it up, buddy. It looks perfect to me. The bird shouldn't have any trouble at all getting inside that hole. Now we can start putting things together. We'll start with pre-drilling the side walls. This will keep the wood from cracking when we put the screws in it. It will also cause the side walls to pull tighter to the front and back wall. Kids didn't know there was going to be a math quiz in this project, but here we go with math again. We'll have to measure to ensure that the screws screwed right into the middle of the back and front wall. If this is not measured correctly, then the screws can go through the side wall and split out of the front or the back of the walls that we are screwing into. Although this material is referred to as 2 by, it is only an inch and a half. So therefore, we're going to measure 3 quarters of an inch to find the center of an inch and a half. When we drill, we have to make sure that our drill is held straight up and down. We don't want to move over to the left or the right or the front or the back. Otherwise, when we place our screws in, then our screws will go in crooked. And with the three inch screws that we're using, if they go in crooked, they will split out through the front or the back of the wall that we're screwing into. Now that this is her first time drilling, I'll steady the back of the drill and help keep it straight so that she drills a hole straight through the wood. This birdhouse is a team effort, so everybody gets a piece of the action. I'll hold the drill for him too, just to make sure that the holes are nice and straight when he drills them. I'd like to say that they get some of their creative skills from me, but I'm sure their grandmother, Hitchy Chick Urban Homestead, would probably say that they get a lot of it from her too, and they're probably right. Click on the Hitch a Chick Urban Homestead channel and see what she's got cooking. Nicely done, team. Got them just perfect. Now we'll repeat the process on the other side wall, and we'll give him a little opportunity to draw some lines with the speed square as well. Someone else is getting some good B-roll footage for her TikTok channel. There it is, getting the video going. Now with all the holes pre-drilled, it's time to start putting the birdhouse together. We are using three inch exterior all-purpose wood screws to ensure that this thing stays together after we get it put together. I'm going to help the children out and get the screws started so that we make sure that we get everything nice and square. Once I get them started, it's up to them to drive them in. One side for each in this birdhouse build. She'll start it off first and he'll work on the other side. She's even got him shooting some footage for her now. Nicely done, team. Now we can start putting the floor on. Okay. 
Now we can set this on our flooring piece and trace out the inside of the wall so that we can mark out where we need to put our screws so that we once again make sure that our screws go right into the center of the wood that we're screwing into. We will be pre-drilling the holes in the flooring piece so that we can come up through the flooring piece and into the walls to keep the walls secured to the floor. We'll move it down here on the ground so they can get a little leverage because there's three inch screws go in pretty hard. Now we have all the walls and floors put together in our birdhouse build. All we need now is a roof. I've cut a piece of two by two and now we're gonna put it as a ridge support. We'll add one of those three inch screws on either side of it so we don't have any roof sag. This is also the home of Hitch and Chick Urban Homestead Channel, so there is no shortage of miscellaneous supplies laying around. There are many tools you can use to cut the metal roofing. For a small project like this, I find the angle grinder works best. We'll get it laid out here on the roof line and mark it to see what looks best. Then we'll measure it and we'll cut both sides. Couple quarter inch metal roof screws will hold it right down in place. Because of the small dimensions, we'll have to custom build us a ridge cap. We'll cut out the high ridge of a scrap piece of metal and we'll use it for a ridge cap. We're going to bend the ends over so we don't have any sharp ends and it is more aesthetically pleasing when it's bent down like that. Roof is complete. Now it's time for the perch porch. Porch perch. We'll cut our dowel rod to go all the way across the front of the birdhouse. After all, everybody likes a front porch that goes all the way across the front of their house, right? Now all we have to do is pre-drill the holes in the metal. I prefer to pre-drill the holes myself. The metal shavings from the aluminum is a little bit too risky for the kids, so we'll drill it myself. Holding a one inch piece of dowel rod isn't exactly a task for a novice, so we'll do that here too. Screw the metal plate to the dowel rod. Then we can attach it to the side of the birdhouse. Now that we got it started, we'll get Viral Workaholic team in here to finish it up. We use a quarter inch by two and a half roofing screws to screw this down as well. Next site is ready. Come on in, get in on the action. We'll get this birdhouse all wrapped up. You guys did a great job. That's a fine looking sturdy birdhouse. Oh, well, we took it over to the kids' house. Everybody wants a shot at the post hole diggers. Give it a go, boys, but I don't think you're gonna be able to make it too deep. There you go. Fire workaholic gets back out there. Dig out some rocks out of this. Someone found a worm. He's gonna share it with everybody. We mounted the bird house to an eight foot four before and now we're gonna drop it in the ground. Team workaholic back filling the hole for the post. Smash that like button. Show the kids some love. They worked hard on this birdhouse. And always remember from the viral workaholic, happy building!